What is up? Welcome to Non Fungible Guys. I am one of your hosts, Devon C. Codrington, and I'm joined by Ryan. Yes. I answered for him. You did. Um, Thank you. I haven't done the intro in a while. I've let you do it the past couple of weeks because I've been down in the dumps. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah, that's true. So um, I'm back, baby. Well, I guess I'm still there, but life goes on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. How are you feeling today? I'm good. Nice. A little tired, but yeah, right. Overall, yeah. good. Good. Nice. Good stuff. Back to work. Yeah. Oh, right. Off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So now I got that nine to five job. Right. That's crazy. Fun times. Um, it's it's getting in the way of my crypto and it, NFT. It, is. it definitely is. I'm a, I'm a little bit concerned about the research for this podcast and for the Four Horsemen and we're all the projects to... we're involved in. Like, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to keep up without you, buddy. I know we're gonna. Well, not without you, but with you having a different form of capacity yeah i know oh wait also what if you're a first-time listener this podcast is about cryptos and cryptocurrency nfts and anything in between um that is correct yeah and we talk about, welcome we talk about those things <laughs> <laughs> and other crap yeah um right so let's talk about i was gonna say news from this week but it's mostly just stuff we feel like talking about it's not like your official crypto news i don't i don't know which is kind of impossible to cover anyways yeah so what do you want to talk about? What'd you do this week? We always ask that. Yeah, we do ask that. And now that I think about it, what did I do this well, week? Well, last Man. I think we we recorded late last week. Right. So there then, wasn't that that much time. Well, we did the zombie hunters, but I believe we talked about that we on did. the episode. Yeah. yeah. And then I think, Oh, yeah. Go ahead. What did we do over the weekend? Well, we actually you know what? You know why we didn't do anything per se? Because we have done something pretty epic that we are not going to talk about at all. Right? Or is that what we decided? Yeah, we did decide. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So we have been hard at work. Actually, I feel like we've been, well, we're always talking the Four Horsemen, but um, we're, we've been. We're, we're not called that, by the way. <laughs> I didn't think. <laughs> I was like, so when I said it, I was thinking to myself. Oh, I got away with Holy it. Holy shit. I got away with it. We're called the Four Horsemen. He's finally agreed. And it tripped me up. And I left that gap. And you were just like. That's not. That's not us. <laughs> we are not the four horse. One day I'm gonna get it off, and you're gonna be like, "All right, fine." We should just make a NFT. That should be our first like merch or brand. <laughs> right, that's true. <laughs> Pixelated uh, horseman driving riding away. This is not us. Right. Anyways, we were working on something. It's pretty exciting, and that's why I didn't do any buys yep. or NFT apens or anything like that. No, I've been kind of stuck with not stuck. I've been involved in certain communities. Yeah. Yeah having done yeah you know well, what? it all takes time i mean like consider how many projects do you have open in your discord on my discord yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> why did i ask yeah you shouldn't have asked i can count let's see two four six eight ten twelve uh forty okay yeah <laughs> at least yeah so now the ones that are least active that right. i kind of just dip into to see what's going on is probably two four 10 wow. our, our favorite cardano cities down my list at the mm, bottom yeah but wow i haven't even thought to go into their discord what is the act nothing nothing happens. nothing's happened people like, completely people are just randomly talking there's no i don't see any announcements nothing from the team no nah, not really not that i see is that a rug pull mm, no because they're still minting on their website please go buy their mints Go mint Cardano City. Maybe so that it's the slowest rug pull in crypto. Could history. you imagine? <laughs> like they just keep, they're just slowly backing away. Five years from then, they'll just be like, minting is over. It's like they tied a tied a thread to a snail and just like <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no, the I think once I think what they're gonna do is like some some of the old school projects where they just let the mint go until once it was done, then they then they started taking off because hmm. they're still on their last. Because remember, it was like. 25 levels it's true and it went yeah, up in point. price good i point. think they're down to the last like five levels you know what let's think about this from another perspective we minted that in september i yeah, yeah. i believe so it's been how many months has it been <laughs> like well so, yeah yeah, it's, yeah four yeah, i mean five literally, literally but when you think about it if we were buying a product from a, from a company uh, maybe this is a bad example, but like with these crypto projects, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. We have to really think about them as like the window for these projects are often like years, right? For them to create whatever they're going to create, the metaverse and everything like that. Yeah. So they could be literally building out their metaverse and putting it all together. And 
they play they may they may literally plan to be here for 10 years and they're like four months is nothing well look at like something like where we're super bullish on is uh pavia yeah exactly. and they're not and they're not even potentially going to have access we're not going to have access to the metaverse this year yeah exactly which would be a year and a half since they've been public since they opened the mint before right. any before you could even do anything yeah yeah so I mean, there's that. There's a sl- and a lot of the like the quick is mostly for flipping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, that's the problem with NFTs, right? It's like people. There's so much hype behind a bunch of stuff, mm. and then it's just it's not necessarily a rug pull, but it's like flippers flip. Yeah, and then the people that want to hold something long term are just kind of stuck and like now what. Like there's a few projects I don't I don't want to necessarily yeah, call yeah, them out, yeah. but Cardinos. Yeah. I have a C Dino. They had like f- three different versions. There was Reginald, there was C Dinos, the Car Dinos, and there was a third one. And the floor prices are terrible. Like mm-hmm. it's not doesn't seem to be doing well, but they keep just chugging along. They mm-hmm. they just keep going. And you know what? Maybe it's something just clicks and people start flocking back, right? Yeah, and that's what they should do. Yeah, exactly. And they right. always say that is just keep doing your thing. Yeah. And eventually it turns around. That's true. Well said. And uh, if we're still early, then a project that doesn't take off in three months. Crypto Dino. It was the first car. It was the first Cardano NFT I got into. Right. It was just hovering around whatever yeah, mint price for a bit. And now they started taking off because they're introducing their play to earn game. Yeah. They've got their breeding season coming up. So, I mean, people and now it's starting to get popular and people love riding that hype, too. Yeah, that's true. Because it went up to like quadruple what I paid for, yeah. even more than that. And then it died right down again and mm-hmm. went back to like mid-level. So those waves of interest as they exactly. things. Um, yeah, I guess it's because traditionally a company like builds a product or does its thing and then they go public or they or they open the company with their minimal viable product and say, this is the product. It's done. And crypto is like. We're, com- we're, we're a project. We're minting in three months. We don't really have anything yet. Yeah. But join the Discord. And in three months, we're going to open it up. And that'll be where we start. It's like you really are starting with them. So, I, would, yeah. I wouldn't even say three months. A lot of these projects, they're disc- they create their Discord and Twitter. And it's like within three weeks, a month. That's true. They're, yeah, they're minting, it is, right? Yeah. It's usually like 30 days yeah. from Discord start to like properties was the only one that I went into where it was like. That was a slow burn to get Three into. Months. It was a while. And then yeah. they pushed back because of ETH price and gas prices. And it worked out because we went from like three 2,000 members to like 10,000 by mint. And that was yeah. only in a few weeks. That was pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So that projects do that though. Yeah. Like fun. look at, look at what was that one we were just talking about? Zone. Zone. Their I was in there is... what? October I said? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I was for like a couple months. <laughs> it was like, I was the only one in there talking with like, Paps, yeah. Um, shout out to Paps because nice. he hits us up all the time. And there was a few others. I'm trying to think, and we would just sit there and talk. And then all of a sudden, they got a mint date down, and then yeah. they started getting some moderators in there and stuff. And it blew up, and now they're at ten thousand members. And they just did their mint, yeah. sold out first Genesis. Nice, twenty five hundred. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Twenty five hundred. Uh, supply zones, zones yeah, yeah. spaces, yeah. Jungle and places. for anyone that doesn't know, we've talked about zone, or I've talked about zones before, and it's basically AR. It's an app, but it's like AR um, augmented reality, as, uh, as well as zone. It's a zone, yeah. But like, it changes your room into like the first drop was jungle, yeah. So I could have my app and. But in that jungle as well, I can store and display my NFTs. Yeah. So you hold your phone up and and like, scan it around. Yeah, with the camera well, with the camera open, and you're instead of just seeing your room, it's like your room becomes a jungle, and you can store. Your and room. I think pretty cool. I think their their first um, app, their first initial app development or what is dropping this week. Nice. So that's cool. Them. Yeah, it's a cool project, a cool concept, and like I love how it's using like AR. Yeah, dope. there's a lot of projects doing that. But did we? I don't even think we talked about them last. Did we talk about zones last we, week? We didn't actually. Wait, we, we must have. Wow, how do we? Oh, wait, I, can, I can check the notes. It's, it's I think right we. Here. I think we did actually. We did. We did. Yeah, we did. One day we'll get them on to. We're gonna interview them. Yes, interview them. <laughs> but you know, right? But um, in in the meantime, we'll just keep on plugging away, working on what we're working on. There's so on. much to do. It's and a then, cornucopia of information <laughs> and it's stuff. So true. It's so true. And we're just going to keep on um, doing our own research and seeing what's out there. Yeah. 
What's so funny, man? Uh, nothing. Because I said cornucopia. Yeah. <laughs> when you said cornucopia, I was like, that's awesome. Yeah. I do, I do like that. You're entirely right. Um, so what are we... What's, <laughs> right. <laughs> where are we? I guess we wanted let's to hit up... It, yeah, yeah, let's talk about it. So we did a Do Your Own Research uh, episode, I think two back. Yeah. Two, two or episodes, three yeah. episodes two back. Or three, maybe. Yeah. And uh, we had a couple of questions from, you know, some friends and coworkers and stuff. And it was like... Okay, great. You told me kind of how and what to look for, but where? Yeah. Like, and it's funny. I never thought about that because like when we're doing stuff, like you're like, oh, shoot, check this out. And we check it out and we just go. We just know where to go or what to look for. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? And even when we were talking about this, it was like, I was like, well, where would you go to check a whale's wallet? You're like, I don't know. I'll just go check. And I was like, yeah, what's that site? And it's like, oh, you're ether scan. But like, that's the shit people don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and again, what what's considered a whale? Right. Yeah. Someone that's bought a lot of a, of an asset. It's got like tons like of assets talking, yeah. and tons of. Enough, I mean, enough that they influence the the movement of that of that project, right. which tends to happen. Like a couple people go buy like a hundred. Yeah, it's like they, coin, the supply on, is yeah. like nine thousand, and they own like four hundred of like yeah. the, the NFT or whatever. Or yeah. crypto would be. A percentage of the whole total supply yeah which can really influence the market so because if they were to we're going down the weird rabbit hole. well they dump it then it's a big exactly. problem yeah if they liquidate then but you have that issue too if there's so we're going to be flip-flop we'll try and stick to crypto first then yeah, maybe yeah. switch to nfts but yeah. for something like an nft project when you're part of a team and you have your inner team people yeah. will also look out so this is another kind of do your own research if you notice that team members like moderators or anyone that's kind of they get compensated yeah generally they get compensated with nfts now if you see these people now dumping those nfts yeah loss of confidence in the project immediately yes why don't we start with nfts actually you want to yeah let's start with nfts it's like more fun <laughs> so you want to get the fun first and then the boring later yes <laughs> all right fine let's, let's jump into it all right uh ryan yes sir how would you do your own research when trying to decide um if an nft project is quote unquote good <laughs> whatever that means and what does that mean who knows well, who we'll knows see. because i mean you can go on like for for example for me i hear a lot because you're our initially you got to get into the community into this space that's a good spot yeah so for me because i'm already in there I'll listen to community members I've built relationships with, yeah. friends. You, Sorry, you start to know developers. You start to know yeah. artists. Or there's even people that are just literally Discord managers, community managers. Yeah, moderators and stuff. So Joe, that's how I started. Like, who was on the podcast last year, who had an awesome, fun episode. And we will have him on again. Definitely. He has no choice. Yep. <laughs> But uh, I followed him to a couple projects, and that led that kind of led me to being part of projects he mm -hmm. was in. It got me to you know other community members, and you start kind of sharing ideas. And hey, there's it. Look at we. I met Paps in I believe zones, but it could have been unicorns or properties as well. I don't even right. remember. And he he sends us information like he said hey i saw this project hey check it's so right. much like it's a lot it's a, i still a, i still a, feel bad because i haven't even got to half the stuff he's shared yeah. with us paps is doing his own research for sure so really where is that happening that's happening in twitter and in discord twitter yeah i start with twitter discord like you can't really google new nft projects yeah i mean like because realistically everyone's got some shill blog post out there saying my project is the best but like what you could do is look on one of those sites that has um, like CNFT CN calendar. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Or NFT calendar. NFT calendars and see which projects are going to drop. So that's just discovery. So there's one website, CNFT calendar. And NFT then calendar. NFT calendar yeah. is just like the same form of that. Just For CNFT is Cardano. Yeah. Uh, NFT, I think, does uh, Ethereum, Ethereum Cardano. It shows them all. Yeah. But. To start, you could go to something like that. That's and a good just, place to start. And see awesome. like what catches your eye. Yeah. And then secondly, they usually have a posting for their Discord. Exactly. Or Twitter. Like there's some kind of social that you can click on a website or something. Yeah. So that's where you'd find the project. Although those sites, um, despite understanding the space, were so overwhelming. It was crazy the amount of projects out there. The whole thing is overwhelming. Yeah, it was crazy. Here's the thing. I would... If you want to get into NFTs, jump into the space, join Twitter, join Discords, yeah. get into, and then eventually you do learn 
where to sniff out the bad stuff and yeah. what's a what's a rug pull what's a pump and dump like you start to learn what's just like oh okay i've seen this swan song mm-hmm. before right okay but anyways yes so you're to in, start yeah nft calendar and, and something like that would be a, a go to i think that actually is a, a wicked site for discovering nfts i yeah, think so solid okay so you've you've gone into nft calendar you pick one you what, like the artwork you like the art yeah because you honestly liking the artwork is a big deal or the name or the name, yeah, yeah, that's true. The name is, yeah. Um, so then, what's the next thing you do? You, me personally, yeah, yeah. I would jump into the Discord and Twitter. Yeah, uh, I would look to see. I don't know why, but I personally look to see when the stuff was created. Yeah. So if we're in the month of January and I yeah. see that it was created January fifteenth, I'm like, yeah. okay, this is br- like this could put it red flag number one. Mm. Could it be a rug pull? Then you look at like. Wait a minute! It's only two weeks old, and it's got seventeen thousand people on Twitter and seven like seven thousand on their Discord. Is that so good? I look at their those are high numbers, yeah. But it could be bots. It could be like you kind of have to. And again, this is where you you get into the community where you start learning like there's bots, there's uh, spam anti spam bots and stuff. Mm. So you look at the numbers, um, how many followers they have on Twitter. They're in. I don't necessarily go to Instagram or TikTok or any. Yeah, of those. I think it's just for me. It's just just Twitter, just Discord. TikTok, I heard, is good, but that's more crypto. Yeah, there's a crypto, crypto space for there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, but if, for... you're, if you're finding, if you're deciding whether this project is good, when you look at the numbers in Discord, what are numbers that you think? Okay, if, it's, if the project's a month old and it's got like 750 is, members, is I'm that like, good? I don't think so. Okay. But, but here's the thing: it may not mean it's good, but then you go into the community yeah. and like majority of people are talking. That's good, right? That that would trump the numbers for like me. Like, if I go into a Discord and there's, it says there's ten. Like, look at Mecca. Yeah, it was a, it was Mecca, right? That was the they had like pull? they had like twenty five thousand members in their Discord and like yeah. seven people talking. Yeah, that was so weird. That's where you know it's like okay, something. I, I have. Man. I'm still in that Discord actually. Are you? And, oh, oh yeah. I left that long I, ago. I look at it and I'm just like, this is so weird for it to be huge, but nobody's with talking. No activity. Like if you so go, that's a total red flag right there. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Okay. But if I go into a Discord and there's like a thousand people, it's been around a month, and it's like they got slow mode on, slow mode on their general chat that's because pretty, that's the good. chat's moving so fast. That's a good sign for me, in my personal opinion. Mm. Okay, sweet. So you check the channels, you check the numbers. Um, I'm assuming you probably checking the website. Yeah, I've checked the. Yeah, you would go check the website if there's no website because some of these projects are still early. I like when they have websites. I, I hate when they uh, don't. I personally don't care. don't care if you they have care. a website yeah. because generally their websites tied into minting. That's so you. if they say, "Hey, our mints in a three weeks or a month," and websites being created, yeah, then I assume okay, well, they're doing all that. If it if it looks like like you made it on Netscape ninety five, <laughs> yeah. Netscape. Then I'm like, okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? I think I know why I like because we're so in the card the CNFTs, Cardano NFTs that most of the minting is from well, the minting's from website. So not even. So that's why I've, I've always. It's the liked opposite. It. Ethereum's mostly you connect your wallet to the website. Oh yeah, that's true. And then you connect your MetaMask and do that. Cardano is hey here's our address. I know, but like, it's I way like, more trustworthy. Yeah, you're, yeah or, you know what? You got to be way more trustworthy on Cardano right now. Yeah, no, you're totally but right. We're getting away from that because smart contracts are are coming. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah, when we first got into it, the, they didn't need a website. They literally just needed a Discord. Hey, they shut their Discord down. Like nobody can chat. Yeah. Here's the address. Go. For and then it was just based on the. <laughs> The congestion of the network. You know what? Now that I think about it, I remember that. And I remember when I threw my money away. Yes. It was using the website because they minted they minted oh. from their website. And that's their I had been I had been doing a couple projects that were only they only displayed their webs their address on website. They didn't mm. shut the Discord down. So that's why I was like, I trust that. But I was so comfortable with that that I just didn't pay attention. Yeah, and where used, you were sending yeah, it and, from. Yeah, and use the wrong wallet. And again, that's that's from that's how the Cardano blockchain was. Yeah. We're getting away from that to become more like Ethereum where it's like click and buy. Yeah, to be a true um, wet, like level three or generation Web three. three year, no, yeah. generation three blockchain. So, okay. so you check the website. If they have one, if they, you don't care. Generally, they'll have a roadmap. They'll right. have, um, oh my God, I went completely bank roadmap and what's the other thing white paper white paper yeah you generally those two are combined 
or in like the white paper will have the roadmap yeah. vice for you know yeah, what yeah. i mean um they'll have one or the other usually a white paper can come like properties did their white paper after mint yeah. a lot of projects yeah. will do it before mint right so i guess um and then do you care so like you you care but about all that could still mean a rug pull they can have all this stuff and I it's know. still like for me i i just base it a lot on do i like the project does it seem so even with all that you're checking so you've listed that you check discord you check twitter check the website roadmap white paper and all this stuff is usually just linked off of the discord yeah. and their twitter and or their website if they have it yep. and then you check um how the like the, act, the activity and engagement. Yep. And even after that, and you've already liked the artwork or whatever. Some people care about it. Something some drew me don't. to Something it. Something drew you to it. So even after all of that, and, and the good thing about NFT checking, when I say the good thing, even though it feels all speculative, because it kind of is, mm -hmm. is that everything that you need to know is usually in one spot. Yes. It's literally like, you can just be like, this is the Discord, hop in, and then you pretty much get everything you need to know. Yeah. Because like, there's no, like, unless it's something like... Um, why am I having a brain blank? What we just talked about, Invisible Friends. Yeah, that that was. I saw Invisible Friends for the first time on TikTok, and then I saw it on Instagram, and I saw it everywhere. I didn't hear, and I saw it on Twitter everywhere, just because it was super yeah, stuff. Popular. Just pops into the space, yeah. and you're like, whoa, what the hell? Like, would they have four hundred thousand Twitter followers and like a hundred k on Instagram? Yeah, like yeah. that's cr and that's what was the mint? Five thousand pieces. That's cr that's five, crazy. Five thousand. That's, that's it. it. That's it. You know the floor of that project is going to go like sky high. Oh, I just remembered something. Yeah. It's just my, when I look for projects and I'm doing my own research. Yeah. If a project has a whitelist. Yeah. And the qualifications is for invites, my ask leave server. I'm so glad you said that. That's I like the huge. leveling up because I can put a little bit of time in and how the leveling up works is as you're chatting every minute that you're chatting in a server, yeah. you generally gain points. Mm. Other experience points or whatever it is, but other Discord servers will do like complete this challenge, get one whitelist. Do There's different ways right. that a lot of projects are trying. I like so far that I've dealt with the leveling up because it's just like you just join the community and everybody's chatting. Well, let's, let's talk about then some like engagement techniques because have you ever seen like shitty engagement te techniques or no engagement techniques and then been like, I don't like this project? Do you use that as a definer for well, you stay? For me, the invite one. If it's like you have yeah. to have 10 invites, I'm gone. I, I don't I'm know. I'm the 10, same way. I won't do that. Like, I follow the same yeah. kind of community members around, right? Like yeah. it's like to me, I do everything by committee. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I have a team. Here. Like I mean, we make the joke with the four horsemen, but yeah. it's like we all play a role. Like I can do the grinding and the and the social media stuff. Yeah. Whereas like Burns will do the researching. Yeah, and then and then the poking holes and asking questions. Exactly, and, and then I you do got nothing. Yeah, you got nothing, and then Hilly does our. <laughs> uh, he's the banker. Right. So okay. Yeah, that's that's what I do. Just a uh, little bit of podcast prep stuff. <laughs> hey, someone's got to do it. Right? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Yes. Okay, so um, th all in all, when it comes to NFTs, it's like if you don't know, like, what's... <laughs> if you don't know, like, anything about the NFT world, doing your own research probably needs to start with understanding what nfts are and and recognizing like how to set up your wallet you got to do all that stuff first and then to actually yeah. pick the project so if you if you don't know that you're not going to be able to like even jump yeah in. i guess we should have started with that too like pick a well, blockchain because there's so many blockchains now that are doing like you got solana yeah you but part Cardano. of I, does that we why did we go to cardano because we like the fees like uh, i didn't know at about the time to be honest i knew of cardano but burns was yeah, he pushed us, and then he's like, "Yo, they're doing NFTs now." Because I got into Top Shots, right. which was like on the Flow blockchain. Exactly. So I, I mean, didn't even know about Ethereum having. Yeah, NFTs. Like, I wasn't thinking about that either. And I then when we did start looking at it, I mean, you sure sure you weren't uninterested unicorns, but when we still got going, the gas was getting up, and I was like, "Screw that, let's just stay here." Yeah. But like, if you're really trying to do your own research for NFTs, and assuming you know how to actually you have a wallet and you can actually mint when minting comes yeah the research really comes down to those things just looking and checking about checking the community checking the team as of obviously mm -hmm. i think that's for everything and then you just kind of have to trust in that they're going to deliver yeah because you can't always tell what's going to rug pull and what's not and you can't tell what's 
going to get the uh, adoption or not. But if the Discord is engaged, at least you know you have a community right there that will support the NFT in purchasing when mint time comes. Exactly. And that's all that we can really do. That's it. For me, it's just... Um like you're gonna get in the space, get in the space. If you yeah. don't want to mint, you don't have to mint. It's true. There's no reason That's to true. ape in or FOMO in and be like, oh, I'm gonna lose all this money. Be in the space and start learning. There's lots of times when I'm in the Discord or we're doing stuff, and I know what you're into, and I just don't even mint. I'm just like, no, nah, I'm not doing this one for no reason. Like, exactly. Yeah. I so, like to wait. Yeah. Hopefully that helps anyone that wants to get into the NFT space. Uh, it sounds so. You know the crazy thing is it. It sounds so speculative, and it is because. It's just about the community. Like, how are you going to determine, like, if people will like it or not? Like, I mean, if there's crazy hype, sure. But you really can't at the end but of the day. But the hype could just be a rug pull. Exactly. It could be all influence. Like, like Mecca. Yeah. Like when, all in- when I looked at that, I was like, this is cool. And then I checked the Discord. So you do have to check the Discord. I I'd think so. so. Cool. And then you can check the Discord and you can see that there's no activity. And that the project has, fought, like, 15 people. And that the mint, and then the mint price for it is really expensive. And you're like, this is a project that has no legs. It seems overpriced and it has nothing going on. And then you could be like Ryan and be like, take my money. <laughs> I didn't buy Mecca. <laughs> no, not Mecca. Another project that I'm not naming. But but you just love it. And you're like, oh, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. yes. And nothing's wrong with that. I'll, I'll, I'll name it. Go, go, Crypto go. Boutique. <laughs> yeah. And the funny thing is, because you're in it, it's actually on my list. I'm going to join. Yeah. I'm just because I'm like, if you like it, I'll do it. But I got half the horsemen in there. God, I got to stop calling us <laughs> yes! that. Damn it. I got half our committee in there. I'm calling us a committee. The committee works. That does work. Um, I prefer that because you know what? I do a lot of stuff by committee because I, I know I won't necessarily do my own research, but I know someone in our foursome <laughs> will do it. Okay. We'll use all, all the words except for foursome. All right. So what if it's... Uh, yeah, I got to join that project. Okay. What if it's... Uh, yes, you cri- do. Crypto. All right, yeah, so let's that's, go. That's different. That's the yeah. It's a totally different animal. Um, beast, beast. Yeah, it, I mean, think of how many different blockchains and how many different crypto they're like. I what's the number at this at this point? Crypto projects. Yeah, in the thousands. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I, I've I've remember looking. It was like there's a thousand pro. I I, I don't even remember, but there's a lot of them. Like, it's a lot of tokens. I think for anyone that wants to get into the space right away, not right away, but wants to jump into the space, buy the blue chip. Yeah. Try, buy a little bit of Bitcoin, buy a little bit of Ethereum, and just get your toes wet on how transactions work. Buying off a of DEX. Um, is it DEX? Yeah. Exchange DEX, yeah. Yeah. Um, God, man, my brain farts are just... <laughs> but... Uh, I lost my train of thought. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> so dumb. You were saying, buy if you want to get in, just get in a little le- bit. Just learn, yeah, be- buy a little bit, and just like it's almost like a, a test. A test. Uh, you got to get comfortable with yeah. being in the space. Yeah, but, exactly. So, so where where this whole do your research starts from? It doesn't start from like knowing how to set up a wall. That's a different episode that we'll do. Do your own research starts from the standpoint of you're sitting there being like. I have a wallet or whatever. Which cryptocurrency am I going to go and buy? I've got money. Yeah, I, I want to. I want to get into the crypto. What do I do? Yeah, and here's the thing: like, ask a friend. You choose that cryptocurrency, and then you go set up your wallet. You, it doesn't matter. You can do all things a bunch of different it, ways. Yeah, you can do it all different. But, like, but what's the initial step to get into the crypto okay. space? Listen to us. Yeah, hundred percent. Download non fungible guys. <laughs> yes, hundred <laughs> percent. With your host Ryan and Devon. Subscribe. Leave, <laughs> leave a review on Apple <laughs> Apple, Apple Podcasts. Sign up for our Patreon, which doesn't What do you personally do? Okay, so if I'm... Okay, so if for cryptocurrency, not NFTs, I'm approaching it from the place where I have crypto holdings in my various wallets, and I'm trying to decide which cryptocurrency I'm going to go into next. And And I'm looking at a whole bunch of them. How do I decide if I think it's good or not? I start by just looking... If I pick a coin and I'm like, okay, the coin is Solana, and I don't have any research, but whatever, we'll just talk about it. I look at it and I'm like, does Solana have any coin mark? Ha- does it have any activity? Like, is any is it trading? Is there right. activity? Obviously, there is because it's it's moving. We've like, heard about it because we're in the space. I'm just, yeah. I'm saying like, what does a person do that isn't in the space? I know. At all? Okay, so, so say you're not in the space at all, and you like I see, and you're like, I'm. You're, what you're trying to do is decide if a coin is good to go into. Doing your own research, from the way I'm looking at it, is like, which coin should I pick? 
So you see one and you're like, okay. Where do you see it though? You see it on, you go to Google and you, or so you go to CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. But how would you know about those sites? You go Google uh, cryptocurrency trading platforms. Or you say, which Bitcoins, what's the top cryptocurrency? And they're going to say, oh, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Buying crypto or like. Yeah. And then you basically what you should do is see those top coins and then you start your research into, because you can be like, all right, I'll just buy these top 10, but like that might not be what you want to do. No, that's where you, that's the aping in. Yeah. Like you should explore like the coins and see what right. they have actually got going on. So that's kind of how I'm approaching it. Okay. But I would start checking one at like uh, coin market cap. I, yeah, I've, well, we built our committee. So for us, it's kind of bouncing ideas off each other. But for, for me yeah. personally, it's like, oh, I heard about this coin. I heard about one today that someone mentioned, Paul Sachs. Yeah. No idea what it is. He mentioned the blockchain. No clue. I've never heard of the blockchain. So what's the first thing you're going to do? Related I would to go to Sachs? Google yeah. and then type in Paul Sachs crypto and see what pops up. So I would go to CoinMarketCap and type in Paul Sachs. Well, I would I would do that too. You're Googling. Same thing, yeah. You're yeah. hitting the internet up. Yeah. But see, you can go so many different ways with the like do your own research because it's like what happens if someone's like, okay, I love crypto. What's a blockchain? So then it's like you start Googling that stuff. Like a lot of it is Google. You st- we say Google, but it's like internet searches. Yeah, but you got to – But like yeah. then there's podcasting. You can it's listen true. to that stuff. There's obviously YouTube. Yeah. So the way I look at it is like. You go to Coin Market Cap. You so put Paul, in Pulse X. Pulse X, right? yeah. And then you'd be like, okay, because I don't, I've never heard of it. And people are like, have you heard of this one? You're in crypto, and it's yeah, like, I know. It's like, yo, there's like thousands <laughs> yeah, of cryptocurrencies. Yeah. I don't know them all. Yeah, like that's ridiculous. Yeah. Like I don't even know sports teams. Like, like come on. So whatever. I would go to Coin Market Cap and put in Pulse X, and then be like, okay, is anyone buying this? Is anyone selling this? Right. And if no one is, then you're like, maybe it's so new that no one knows about it yet or maybe it's old and it's already done its thing and it's dead yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the first thing that i would check for pulse x so coin market cap is it just uh like here's the latest trends or is is there news articles is, is it linked yeah, to other stuff no, that, here's just, the website that's like your whole that's your site that's got like all the info the profile of the coin it's do you not, have a site that you use that's like that like that shows me all the information article wise on the coin yeah, like it kind of curates, hey, this oh, is well, Pulse X and what it's about. To be honest, um, yeah, there would be like Masari, Binance Research does that. Yeah. Yeah, because if you, and like Coin, Coinbase, if they carry it or whatnot, you'll go look it up on Coinbase too. And, and they they've have, got the history. Yeah. A got, lot of, actually, a lot of like Binance and stuff sort of cut yeah, you yeah, off, but good. they actually have links. Like I know when you're in trading and you're exactly. like, oh, what's this coin to the US? And you're like, oh, wait a minute. You go in like the details. They actually have links to white papers. Yeah, exactly. So coins yeah, yeah. actually do have white papers and Oh, 100%. All that stuff. Yeah, and 100%. Like, look at uh, even uh, Cardano's got a roadmap yeah. or a uh, white yeah. paper, too, to say what every step of the way that they plan on doing with their crypto so or their blockchain. Yeah. So, Binance, I'll go to all of those ones, and you're going to be able to see trading volume. Is it being traded? Um, what um, articles and stuff about it? But then you might also want to go to ICO Drops. ICO being initial coin offering, but we talked about that in previous episodes. So you go to ICO drops and it'll say like details about the ICO. Like, and it actually have like screenshots of the cryptocurrency, like web page, because sometimes they might like raise money to get this drop. And then, you know, they say, we're going to do this, but then they didn't do it. So they might change their website. So when right. you go on the website today, you're like, oh, everything's tracking perfectly, but they've changed their website. They might've changed their roadmap. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, websites like ICO Drops takes like a screenshot of their website so that you can actually go and check there anytime and see what the website's looked at different times. I'm assuming too, if I looked up PulseX cryptocurrency, yeah. the website, if they have a website, would be one of the first hits. Oh yeah, of course. Unless it's like the Google ad yeah. revenue and thing. And that's where you'd go for the white paper. And okay, so now we see there's trading volume. We see information about it. You want to see like tokenomics, yeah, right? Like what kind of a- which we discussed in our previous yeah. episode of do your own research. But you- so okay, what's I mean like good and bad? We were talking about on the weekend. We were talking about capped versus uncapped. We're not going to go into the details, but it means some. Like is the coin deflationary, inflationary? Yeah, yeah. But you can find all of that from their website. 
um, because that's like their documents are going to have. Well, yeah, exactly. It would explain what it is. If they're going to be burning, then it's deflationary. Yeah. Because eventually it, the, the source stops the, mint. Exactly. Minting, I guess. or Yeah. So, um, and then I guess the, the next thing is like red flags is kind of what you're looking for. Like, and it's just the same thing as what you mentioned with the NFTs. If the person that's, um, if the founding team has all of the, the, the coins and that's where most of the supply is kept. Yeah. Then totally you're like, okay, uh, this whole cryptocurrency is supported by the people that made it and there's no real adoption. You know what right. I mean? Like they might be just just holding on to most of it you might be like okay this is not really growing or doing its thing because you're obviously are in there looking for something that's going to grow because you buy it at this price and then of course it increases as trading volume is increases yeah so if there's no one really holding on to it then that's not good um i guess the next thing you i would check the team out yeah you look at the team you could you know what you could do is you could actually go on youtube or just search the members and see what kind of interviews they're doing. If they're docs, then I guess docs is only related to NFTs. Usually blockchain and crypto stuff is, yeah. you know the, who the team is. So you could look at recent interviews, yeah. any kind of YouTube stuff. Um, see, like I, I would, yeah, read articles that yeah. are uh, talking about them or go watch videos and interviews like, that they've um, done. Hoskinson, he's always- Hoskinson, yeah, there's... Uh, Actually, speaking of Hawk and Hoskinson, yeah, I had that. Even I'm in the space. I shared a freaking scam with you guys in our group chat. That was a that you, was a good I, scam. It was. It was I was scam. literally scrolling through and I was watching a YouTube video, some crypto YouTube video. Yeah. Um, and I just happened to see Hoskinson live yeah. talking about Cardano, uh, upcoming Cardano. And I was like, oh, okay. I didn't even click on the video. I just saw that it said live or whatever. I clicked share mm-hmm. and sent it to the group chat. And then I think Burns called me out and goes, uh, scam much? So I, I, didn't, I didn't watch it yet, but I was like, okay, I will. And then I started watching it. And I was like, okay, I was listening. And I was like, I feel like I've heard this before. But I, I, I didn't pick up on it. I, you know? I had no idea. And then when he was like, scam, I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? I clicked it and I'm like, it's Hoskinson talking. I'm like, yeah. what is he talking about? It's live. And then I was looking at it, and then the whole background, other than his little TV video yeah. or t- like window, yeah. everything around him was like, send Ada to this address, and we'll do this. And I'm like, oh. That's a good scam, though, because when Hoskinson was doing his thing live, like they like Cardano, like they had a thing like that, or yeah. like a multiplier. Yeah. But like... And Dude, that- there was like 10 videos of the same thing. Just oh, different. yeah? Yeah. Once I went into it, you should have seen how many videos were popping up that wow. was like suggested videos. I was like, "Oh, damn! They're scamming big time." So when you when you look after Burn said it was a scam, and you double took a like a double check, how did you know it was a scam? Oh, because it was it had send Ada to this address to do this. It was it just it, it had scam written all over it. It was like you know how it's like sending a hundred dollars to the Nigerian prince to get hundred million dollars sent to your okay. bank account it was like right, something right, like right. that it right? was like and like yes you know i didn't even think this but i didn't check the account like to see who posted it because yeah i didn't do so that the, either because like, i didn't do my research <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i guess i i didn't check the account because we recognized from the from the video that yeah it was accessible. but imagine i went and tweeted that out i only sent it to the three of you guys yeah and burns picked up on it right away so luckily but like what happens if i sent that to a group chat with my family or something? so what's your overall so your overall advice is i should have taken the five seconds to watch the video and look and do my research on it you but, know what i mean but at least you're doing the steps because you do have to see the founder interviews so that's yeah. good but yeah you gotta you gotta take the time right and mm-hmm. it's annoying because you might think you don't have the time and if you don't have the time then don't just jump in because it's 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 highly un it's it's new it's unregulated because of the, the nature of decentralization. So I was just too comfortable, and yeah. I was like, "Oh, share! It's live." <laughs> too comfortable. YouTube is not going to scam it, me. But here's the thing: um, uh, remember the article we were talking about just before this, where the, the about the Discord tax? Yeah, right. Like that person got a phishing, um, like console, like a phishing. Yeah, it was like, "Hey, I, we got this video game. Can you test it out?" And as soon as he downloaded the link, which I wouldn't have downloaded it. I would have said no. Yeah. As soon as he clicked on the download link, something opened up a command line on his computer, and boom. And then it was Discord something. was logged yeah. out, and then there goes the the virus going into your computer. Right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. He was quick enough that it seemed like he turned everything off, disconnected from the internet, yeah. and 
tried to clean it up. Usually, like uninstalling and reinstalling Discord will will kind of wipe yeah. out the phishing scam. But still, I mean, never know. But here's the thing: he said he got the DM from somebody that was already in his DMs. So, so even if he had, hacked. so even if he had shut his D, because I go in now when I go into a server, I shut my DMs off. No one can mm. send me a message unless I turn it on. Yeah. But this was somebody that had already sent him a message previously. Yeah. So that he had a relationship with them of some sort. Right. Even if it was just like a, hey, how are you? That's tough because, you know, realistically, if like uh, Jared sent me a message and he was like, check this out, I probably would click. It. Well, you know what? No, if, ju- if it just said, check this out, I wouldn't click it. I'd be like, is this you? Here's the but thing. But here's the thing. Because if- you're, here's the thing. We both just said it. <laughs> but <laughs> you're in this space. So you know what the scam, yeah. scam DMs yeah. look like. But check this out is used everywhere on the, hey or the thing is is this you <laughs> you know what i mean yeah anyways okay so you check fan let's get back to doing your own research double check everything we gotta treat everyone like they've been on the internet for the first time it's yeah, like literally like quite it's... literally um i'm trying to think okay we've already checked the white paper we've already checked founders uh, and information did we did you say linkedin for the founder okay yeah check, no check their linkedin, LinkedIn pages. yeah um, and the reason being, we just want to see the reputation of these people. Like if I started a cryptocurrency, you'd be like, okay, like maybe he has a podcast. There's some things that he's doing. He's got a, who's the team he's got behind him, but I'm not a coder. If I was like, I'm writing all the smart contracts nah. myself, probably, probably shouldn't do that. Nope. <laughs> I would, I wouldn't do that. I would hire someone else to do it. Um, okay. And then after you've checked white paper, you've checked the vo- that there's activity, you checked their website, you've seen tokenomics. Uh, another thing I have written is check the consensus mechanism, proof of work versus proof of stake. And how do they do that? Because if it's like, um, a proof of a proof of like work and it's like very, very similar, similar to Ethereum, that's probably a, to ETH, you know, and like on the blockchain, like how's that blockchain operating? That's like old tech now. <laughs> You know yeah, we're mean? getting to the age where people are looking for the green the green blockchains. Exactly. That are good yeah. for the environment and getting away from even though Ethereum blockchain is like the, the mecca. The ma- the base that everyone yeah. uses, it's yeah. not the best at all. No, it's terrible for the environment. It, it really and it's just terrible for how it functions. That's why the gas is so high. Well, it's a, it's <clears throat> we get into this one day and it, when eventually, but Ethereum was not built to do NFTs. It was kind of hacked. Yeah, to be able to do all this stuff that we're doing on it, but that's why gas fees are ridiculous. We will never. I almost said the never, other R word. We but. will never stop saying that. But either way, you want to see like, come to Cardano. Come, yeah, Car- Car- ETH, ETH versus Car- Eight O War. Um, but you want to see like how it operates. Like, yep. what is the point of this cryptocurrency? Like, is it like what, what speaks to you about yeah, it? Yeah, like what? But what's it doing? You know, is yeah. it just existing? Is it a meme coin? Is it like? And if it's saying that it's a meme coin then like it should have a huge meme following in in that sense right but if it's like we're doing this then it should do what it says it's going to do so you have to like check that out mm-hmm. and like in all honesty you just have to go through all those sources and then i would go you know my favorite website decrypt i love that website yeah i didn't even know about it you you held that uh secret from me for a while i honestly i've never come I across you it you knew it i was I like never how did you can- not it's a good website like if you're if the your cryptocurrency is on decrypt They'll tell you, like, it summarizes shit so well, and then it also tells you how to do what you need to, and it has all these guides. It's just not in my world. I go on Twitter, Discord, and, like, yeah, because for me, you, everything's kind of committee-based. Yeah, like because if, you're super deep in the NFTs, and, like, yeah. that's why you sniff them out so well. Yeah, right? yeah. But I'm, like, on this side looking at... And I, so here's I, I really a question like I had from uh, my buddy uh, Steve D. Nice. If uh, you had a 1000 bucks right now, what would I do? What would you do? I what hate, crypto would you? I hate this question. I know I hate it too. But whatever. But it's we'll like, answer it. Have fun with it. Okay. So a thousand bucks right now, Janu- February, February twenty twenty two. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I know, right? Um, definitely going staple. I, I'm still in the digital goal. People are like, uh, Bitcoin's whatever, no utility. Screw that. No, it's look. Even though it's almost halved right now. Yeah. I'm still going and putting like thirty percent of three hundred. 300 bucks into Bitcoin, uh, I'd be putting 200 into Ethereum. So now I'm down to half yeah. already just because, and that's for... Do you go full degen on uh, the other half and just like start <laughs> buying shit coins <laughs> everywhere? Almost, <laughs> almost. Uh, actually, 
Uh, and the Bitcoin is for holding. I'm not like looking to flip this. This is a store. So 500 is long term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock it up. Yeah, because I'm I'm when I when I can. I'm not trying to dabble in the Ethereum NFTs, and I'm not like moving that money around. Um, I would definitely take another. So I got five left. I need to basically get Matic. I need to get Cardano. I need to get Solana, and then a bunch of um, speculative stuff that I'm not caring about utility i'm just grabbing for it to move um i would probably go next the biggest pot would be ada um easily um 100 150 maybe uh maybe 50 matic and then i'm probably down to like 300 now and then the last 300 would be split between um mana and uh sand and um av- like a bunch of like speculative shit that i see on the- yeah yeah and it mostly it would be connected to any it would yeah solana uh would be the next biggest pot so maybe another 50 so now i'm probably down to 250 and that 250 would be stuff that i got into your like, fun money the fun yeah speculative i have a you know what before i i, I held some it's funny because i held some doge like after the thing oh. and i was like this is stupid right but then it moved yeah and it actually i was like there was a time where I was like, because of it actually moved, but I wouldn't be getting Doge right now. I'd probably be going to... Most crypto right now is like half of what it was. Yeah, I'd be going to the newest meme, like, what was it? Flo- Flocky, Inu, which is kind of old now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So I, I don't even know. It's nothing... Crypto is not even... I'm so, like, deep into NFTs and stuff. I don't even know what, like... Other than stuff that gets pumped on Twitter. Yeah. And you know what seems like, for me on Twitter, that I've come across is a lot of those airdrop stuff. Oh. There's like two or another two this week or that popped up that people were like one would seem like it was a hack or some kind of scam mm. and another one seemed legit but well uh, I feel like nothing's come the, across no my... I feel like the airdrops are are huge okay but you know what before we go to airdrops I'm gonna yeah. put a pin in that that's what I would do with my thousand bucks what would you do <laughs> what would I do yeah I'd probably go I'd probably do Cardano ETH Bitcoin. And that'd be like I'd probably do the same thing, two fifty yeah. in each. Yeah. Um, and then I would just, ah, damn, I don't know, man, because then it's like two. I'd probably go half actually. I go ETH and Cardano, mm-hmm. and then I would just have fun with the other five, nice. and do like the sand, the mana, yeah, uh, Solana. And but I- see, for me, it's it's selfish in the sense because I would turn it around for. For NFTs, so yeah. I guess if I'm doing straight crypto, I would have to do some serious research. Uh, Sparkpoint, uh, there is. Yeah, Spark, I have. Yeah, so I'd buy some yeah. Sparkpoint because, yeah. like, I think long term they've got so many. They want to do like a university. They want to do yeah, the gaming like side. Point, they want to yeah. do the wallet side. They want to do. They have so many different avenues that uh, maybe they spread themselves too thin, and the Sparkpoint goes down, but. Um, but but here's the thing. Still, no one's even proposed what they have. Yeah, you know. Okay, so here's the thing. There's that last two fifty would be like really really trickled out, <laughs> and it, yeah. But but there would be some. There would be some. Um, I'd see if there was any like DAO tokens and like whatever. Yeah, some say- of these DAOs are moving in different ways that yep. are that are not tip. Yeah, it's, and it's DAOs DAO's are getting into Cardano now too. Yeah, so that's that's what I would do. It's tough, but I don't. But I do think that if someone has a thousand bucks and they don't know what they're doing, they shouldn't worry about NFTs. They shouldn't worry about not NFTs DAO no. stuff. They literally should Here, get into get into in it. The big stuff. Get you know, into like, crypto. Like I mentioned, and then like that last two hundred bucks, play around with it or you know, see what happens. You know what you could do? Old school stock market. Buy crypto ETFs. Oh yeah, I'm so glad you said that. Right? Yeah. Like it's a safe way. Like for anyone that doesn't know, an ETF is. Um, like it, Ex- it what is, oh, go ahead exchange traded fund yes yeah so it has a, a piece of like everything yeah so it's like if you want to get you can get into like a car manufacturer etf or like the own piece of gm piece of tesla yeah, piece yeah. of bmw and so it's like oh i have and you, your money you put your thousand bucks in and let it grow yeah that's true so now they've gotten to the point now where they have crypto etfs and you can uh Invest in that and just watch your money grow there. And you can start paying attention to all the like what's in that portfolio. Yeah. And maybe that's how you do your research. Yeah, and maybe you take bigger pieces. Like why why is, why are those cryptos in this ETF that I'm investing in? Because yeah. you do still have to do your research on the crypto ETF you pick. Yeah. 
But then you can go even in more into depth and be like, okay, well, why are these cryptos the one that are making this one I what I choose? And, and just and, snowball and r- rabbit hole into that. And just to confuse you more, yes, the cri- crypto ETF is on um, the blockchain, but there's also like actual Nasdaq crypto ETF that was like uh, approved, I believe. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like it's old school market is yeah. trying to get in, trying to take a piece of the new school. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm trying to think if I have any more. Well, you got do your, your cust- own research. Custodial, notes. non-custodial. You could do the, that. We did an episode on that too, so you could do right. your research there on what works for you. Um. Yeah. What What exchanges like depending on where you're living? Like we kind of just assume oh, yeah. everyone's in Canada or the, the way US. we're talking about. Yeah. But like stuff like Philippines, like Phil- crypto and NFTs is huge in Philippines. Yeah. Actually, it has like the, some of the highest adoption rates in the world and right they're now. Make, the and it's like it's not like they're making even for them making a thousand dollars a month is like double their net worth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's a lot of money yeah, for yeah, yeah. for a lot of these overseas country. I was gonna say worlds. <laughs> like I'm thinking metaverse. <laughs> that's how, that's basically where you live right now. So I mean, I guess overall, yes. To you, summarize, to summarize. Um, we've mentioned this before. The goal is to convince yourself not to invest. Um, seeing the, uh, one of the other goals we mentioned is will other people buy it? And you figure that out by checking the, um, market, ca- the, the activity. And you can also see like total, um, volume locked as in like how much money is in that cryptocurrency yeah. in total, like assets, coins, like every, uh, everything, NFTs, everything. And, um, you guys should try to get as much long-term data as possible. I mean, and some of these are pretty new, but still. Yeah, it's kind of hard. But realistically, doing your own research means you've got to check a bunch of different sources. Like yep. YouTube, Twitter, Discord, their website. Alpha uh, groups. Alpha, yeah, alpha There's groups. a bunch of like Telegram groups or yeah. certain groups where you can pay and you get the information first. Yeah, that's that's true. I know a few people that will drop out. Al- like, and that's the thing. I'm in a little community yeah. that other people are involved in alpha groups. And, hey, I heard this in my Asia alpha group. This is right. dropping. Yeah. The thing is, um, I think what I'm, what I'm going to have to do is dedicate like certain crypto times or else you can easily have a couple days, like week to week, the amount that happens and whatnot just keeps on, keeps It's on impossible going. to say on top of and it. And so you can't really, timing the newest thing and figuring it out and getting in there before it blows up is very, very difficult and really like luck. <laughs> luck. Yeah. So, in or, so you've really got to be able to just um, do your own research on a regular, consistent basis. And if you're like, ah, it's too much work, then you kind of are just telling yourself you're not interested in making those gains. Because, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. We, did, we didn't, uh, I want to say there is a website that I like going to oh, yeah, yeah. investopedia. Oh yeah. They're, it's, they're yeah, pretty heavy cool. in a lot of these are all free sites too. I don't think you have to pay for any of them no, that we've all, mentioned. Yeah. Investopedia is good for the, no, the, the knowledge because what you're going to do is you're going to have a bunch of questions when you general questions and then you, questions specifically yeah. about that. And, Investopedia is now um, yeah. good for the definition of those terms. Hundred so. percent. Like, what is a blockchain? What is an NFT? What yeah. is like? What is a custodial wallet? Like, and they'll have articles just answering your questions. But there's levels to it, you know. There's do your own of research course. for for like understanding blockchain and Bitcoin at the general level. But then there's doing your own research for like project specific. You're already in the space. How do I do my own research to determine which project I want to pick? Exactly. And those are two different types, you know. Like we just, just we kind of jumped around with both, but you, you kind of need it. Yep. So for YouTube channels, do you want to shout anyone out? I got a couple I had. Oh uh, yeah, no, it. list them out. I got now. Th- again, this is do your own research on who I'm talking about. Um, I've just heard them. They're in the space. A lot of people talk about them. Yeah. A lot of people have hate, love and hate relationships with them. Bitboy. I've heard. Of I've, that, heard yeah. I've heard. I've uh, heard. He's got controversy around him too, but he's pretty big in the crypto mm-hmm. space. Uh, Journey Crypto, but it's spelled J R N Y Crypto. Mm. He's pretty big. Or is it him? Yeah, Whiteboard Crypto. You got me on that one. Yeah, where that, they explain everything pretty. Well. It's one of those you can't listen. You kind of have to watch it. Yeah, that channel is my favorite. They are solid. Yeah, yeah. And then for me, I got to give him a shout out again. The Freedom Thirty Fivers podcast. Yeah, they yeah. do their YouTube channel. Like I found. 
the amount of information I found out on Cardano projects and stuff from them. Yeah. In like the three episodes I've got to wa- see and listen to. Yeah. Consume all information related to whatever. Like, yeah. That's it, man. Just get into space and like go on Spotify and just Google what is a blockchain or blockchain or crypto. Yeah. Crypto or, podcast. Yeah. Yeah. And like there's so much out there. Yeah. It really comes down to being curious and continuing because like at the end of the day, when you're like, people are like, oh, I don't know. I don't get it. You're never going to get it. You have to just, if you just like sit there and wait for it to come to you, you have to go out and get it. So just like start Googling and bit by bit, get into the space. It'll make sense. And if not, just listen to this podcast, send us a a message on Twitter and we will point you in the right direction. At non fungible guys or at NFG underscore Ryan. I feel like I should change my name at Devon Codrington. You got anything else? No, I think that's it. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's our episode. Hopefully we helped people kind of find some sources. Uh, not financial advice, anything we said. Nope. <laughs> Go leave a review on Apple uh, Spotify. Wait, Apple Podcast. Um, subscribe. Like. And like. Retweet. Tell your friends. And if you do have questions, get at us. Yes, sir. All right. NFGs. We out. We out. Love you. Kisses. <laughs> Love you. Kisses. That's awesome. <laughs>